Hello everyone, you're with Chandeep Shabrat Gurli and in this video we're going to speak about the if function in Excel. Let's get started. The if function in Excel works as the same way as you speak if function in any statement. So let's say for example if you do not score more than 40 marks you would fail otherwise you would pass. So this statement has got three parts. The first part is you're trying to test that do you have 40 marks or not? If you have 40 marks, the result of that is that you will pass. Otherwise, you would fail. So just as the way that we speak the if function in real life, it more or less is the same in, in Excel as well. So I have an example here where we have student names. Uh, these are all the students and these are the marks that they have got. And we will check out that uh, are they passing or are they failing in these uh, you know as per the marks that they have so let me just get started so I would write equals to if and I'll get started the first thing that the if statement is asking me to put a condition so uh, what I was trying to check was if the student is getting more than 40 uh, then he's passing otherwise he's failing so the, my test is that has the student got more than 40 or not so I'm going to test that if the marks are greater than or equal to 40 greater than or equals to 40 this is what I want to test and my test is over and uh, I want to move to the second part of the if statement which is what will happen if the student has got more than 40 so value if true I put a comma and I move to the next part which is value if true so if the student has got more than 40 then he would pass the exam we put pass uh, in inverted commas because that's a text and uh, if the student has got not more than 40 that means if this test that we have just written here is not true then the student is going to fail so pretty simple if has got three parts I'll just reiterate that the first thing that you write is the condition um, whatever you're trying to test the second thing is what if this condition stands true this is what you write in the second part and you separate both of them by a comma and the final part is what if the condition is false and uh, what action are you going to take so I'm going to say that he's failing put that as a text that's the reason why I've put that in inverted commas and I just simply press enter since he's got 62 marks which is clearly above 40 he's passing the exam and I will drag that down to the rest of the cells so for people who have got less than uh, 40 they are failing which is right here and right here so that's how you use the if statement three parts uh, and the condition uh, what is it that you want to do if the condition is true what is it that you want to do if the condition is false as simple as that thank you so much for watching this video you can also follow us on facebook on twitter or on our blog at goodly.co.in and thanks for watching and have fun